gosh, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> ah, I should really get going before monsters appear. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is I, Miss Willow, and here's another episode of Farindale Archipelago, a series where I, Miss Willow, play with my own Minecraft mod that I am creating, which you can download from the link in the description. So, without further ado, um, ah. Uh, Give me one second. <laughs> I have to make sure everything is working correctly. Uh, yeah. Where is everything? It is dark. I have to go back. I have to go back. Right now. Right now. Monsters are wanting to spawn and I know it. Okay, well, here is an episode of Faradale Archipelago where I am running for my life in the dark and also playing with a mod that I am creating, which is in the download, um, in, 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 the, in the description for download. You can download it there. Let me skip the night and then I should be all set. Hello, Theron. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like to show me that you support the series and feel free to enjoy. I have a noob mob. As I told you guys in my server, I think my Discord server or possibly somewhere else. I'm not even sure at this point. I've been too excited about uh, literally just having it in. I have added to the mod the Tundra Basilisk um, or Arctic Basilisk. Arctic Basilisk. You could also call it Tundra, I guess. But um, it is a mean version of the Field Basilisk, which is very friendly as of now and does not attack the player and you can tame it and it's based after a turkey and beautiful beautiful things now in snowy snowy regions you can find the based after a snowy owl the arctic basilisk which will be tamed with a very very exotic item <laughs> it is going to take um silk touch ice blocks Lots of freezing of other materials, lots of frozen chicken, a new item, honey glazed snowballs, icicle, chopped cod and salmon, powdered lapis lazuli. It's gonna make a fantastical item called the mythical ice kebab. And what is a mythical ice kebab, you ask me? It is an item which will tame the Arctic basilisk which can be found in practically every snowy biome that there is. So I am going to take a look and see- Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Skeleton, stop! Get out of here! I want to show them my little creation- Oh! Ah. Alright, if I don't die on the way there, I want to find one! I want to find the first one! And there's turkeys now in the mod. I have to make the turkey item so that he drops a food source that is not in yet, but you can still find and tame the turkeys with dried kernels. Um, they should spawn in groups of like two or three. Um, in, I think, every biome, I'm going to make it so that they don't spawn in extreme biomes like deserts and snowy areas, same as some of the other regular mon mobs like the Firefly, which I'm gonna pee! He's so cute! <laughs> we can finally see kind of the top of his um, antenna. Oh, he's so precious! Little, little baby! <laughs> oh! Um, but if I travel to this snowy area over here, I really think I might find one if I travel enough. They are vicious, loner creatures which do not travel in packs, and they can kill the player uh, in just a couple hits. Very, very wide hit range too, so you want to stand back, especially when dodging this creature to try and tame him. So, without further ado, if, I, if you guys spot a beautifully um, vibrant colored bluish emerald tipped feathered creature, very big, not very, very big, not like the plateau worm, but bigger than the field basilisk. E let me know, let me know. I am excited. Oh, hello, Indo, welcome to the stream. So happy you could make it. I am just getting done explaining um, my new 
creature that I have added to the mod. I've added turkeys and I've added the tundra or arctic. I keep calling it tundra. It's called an arctic basilisk. And maybe I'll find him? But they're very mean. They are very dangerous, very mean, and very hard to tame. They will gobble up in the matter of a second this very elaborate item that you will have to craft in order to um, even tame him, which you might even need silk touch to get because you will need lots of ice blocks. Oh, <sighs> if I can find one, that would be amazing. Um, here, I gotta heal myself too, so I, why don't I eat more potatoes? Um, but I also, I'm thinking about all the other things that I did add to the mod, which I am very excited about figuring out again because I make so much for it that I even forget sometimes what I make <laughs> and how to make them. So there's a savanna biome over there. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of the savanna biome. But it's there. I can't change that. Up here, maybe I can look out below and see if I can find this creature. See, I make the creatures rare enough that people, players, are going to be bewildered to find it. They will be bewildered, especially the ones who don't watch my videos. They will be like, whoa, I j this is like... I've been playing this m world for weeks now. This weird creature just appeared. Oh my gosh, I'm dying in the snow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, no, no sneaky snow. No, no. No, sneaky snow is bad. Okay, no, the sneaky snow. The sneaky snow is killing me. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Let me get out, let me get out, let me get- No, no, this is awful. I'm trying to- Oh my gosh, I'm trying so hard to get out of here. <laughs> I need leather boots. This is horrible. This is horrible. Get out of the entire weird biome that's trying to kill me. Ah, almost there, almost there. Oh, there's bunnies in the field. That's so cool. <laughs> the ice snake is real. <laughs> yes, more like the ice bird. Um, this creature is going to be vicious and based after a snowy owl. Now I'm just I just want to find one. That's the thing. I have them spawning in snowy taigas, um, snowy slopes, frozen ice spike biomes, and a couple more. So basically all the heavily snowy areas, these guys are gonna be spawning. And hopefully we will be able to see that very soon, hopefully in this episode. I would love to show you guys if you guys have not seen this creature yet, which is exciting because that means I get to reserve the space to show you on my Let's Play. <laughs> All right, let's go up here, up here. There's ice blocks. I'm going to take that as a good sign that I'll find him. Ah! I want to find my creature so bad. No, I, ah, I'm so bad at this parkour. This is like parkour right here. I, I can't do parkour. Some people can. I'm not epic with it. I try to follow the trends and I try to occasionally do parkour, but I just freeze to death instead. That's the thing. It's not my strong suit. Ah, there we go. So, oh, almost up there. Almost up to the tip of the mountain. Maybe there's one at the peak. I can't tame him yet because I don't have that elaborate taming item, which not even I am excited to make. <laughs> that proves a challenge. It proves a challenge if even the creator of the mod doesn't want to do it. Because it's for the people who are so desperate to have this amazing creature, which I am also. <laughs> I just don't have the resources for. I have to find one first. I have to make sure there is, a, is even one nearby before I waste my time, you know? Here. I'm gonna climb up here. I need snowballs to... Ah! Is this like the end of the mountain? It might be the end of the... No! No! I thought I had... I thought I had a grip on that. That is terribly sad. Here, uh, perhaps I'll find a turkey. You know what? I also have to get rid of this grid, those two grizzly bears. Why are there two of them? Ah, uh, these are left over. I made it so that they spawn in the taiga biome. 
because they're more like bear like and ah! have to attack bear no bear stop bear get out of here oh he dropped oh he dropped a cod oh that's epic oh that's really epic i also need to make myself another axe so traveling crafting table time gonna grab myself a weapon perfect i'm gonna take this with me and i take out that one bear he's clipping through the trees stop it you are not that powerful you are not that he is very powerful i'm about to die um no oh my gosh bears are getting on my nerves where is he oh he's right there i have to take him out he there's no way there's no way he's going to get away with this no no you don't you are not getting away with this mister there we go another cod <laughs> See, they do have drops now. That is the good thing. I have made the advancement in the mod to be able to have drops from my creatures, which is good. Which is good. You will be rewarded slightly <laughs> for the terrors of the bear. <laughs> ah, snake! No, stop! No, there's creatures all over. They're gonna kill me. No. Oh, oh I got his I got his egg. Oh, I got his lunch. I stole your lunch. I took your lunch and a bone. Oh, this is great. Here, eggs, bones, cod. I'm getting everything today. I'm rich. I'm rich with the hunt for snakes. Oh, the fireflies. That's so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. I could never kill the firefly. I should make it so that they never drop anything so that nobody kills the fireflies because they're perfect just the way they are. They're perfect. And there's nothing you could say about it. They are perfect. Oh, there's another village. Whoa. Wait, wait. So straight across from... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Straight across from the... So right there, there's another village. My village is doing pretty well, though. My village is far better, even though there's only two houses in it. There's going to be more, and they're going to be really, really fancy and pretty and awesome. So I'm going to take my way over here and show you guys how very not exciting this village is going to be. Even though, even though I'm excited, tell no one, even though I'm very excited to find another village, tell no one. There will be a neighboring village, which I can also transform how exciting. Maybe there's a fisherman. That tree is absolutely gorgeous. There's no way I'm cutting that down. Oh, uh, question. Since there is a plains basilisk and an arctic basilisk, will there be a desert slash warm biome basilisk in the future? Oh, that's an amazing question. Thank you so much for asking, Indo. I am planning on making a type of basilisk for every type of general biome. One for deserts slash savanna, one for jungles, one for plains, one for forests that'll be kind of earthy looking, maybe like fern kind of looking with fern tails or something. And then the other one that I have. So probably like maybe four or five different types of basilisks. I have two of them now. Oh, speaking of which, there's two over there. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Aww. So they are right there. I can probably bring one home. So these are the nice ones in the distance. You see the kind of reddish looking ones? Those are the basic plain old basilisks. But they are... They're, they're friendly. They're friendly. They don't really want to bother anybody. Some of the other basilisks living in more extreme biomes and conditions are a lot more meaner. They have a lot more high temper. Um, hello, little one. Hello. How are you doing? He came right over to me. I thought he was going to glitch and try and attack me. And I was like, wait, did I just lie? Did I code this to be mean? No, he just wanted to say hi to me. How cute. Can I leash him? Wait, can I put him in a boat? I'm saving you for later. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Oh, I am saving you for later. You are so cute. I, d I just talked to him like he was food. That is so mean of me. You are a beautiful, valued, treasured creature that, are, that is not food. 
and you should be treated as such. I'm not saving you for later, but I, I kind of am. Um, so... Very small village. What does the... Oh, there's another one over there. Why are there... Why are they all spawning here? They're supposed to have kind of rare spawn rates. Ooh! Bone meal for butternut... Uh, butternut uh -huh. squash. I have butternut squash, though. See? Example, guys. Villager trades uh -huh. that are custom for my mod. Epic. They... You might find them. You might not. But they are worth it uh -huh. if you do not want to hybridize seeds. It's actually pretty good. Um... Hey, there's another little guy over here. Gotta show you guys this one. <laughs> He's so adorable. Hello, little guy. He's running away from me. That's sad. The poor thing. Here. Um, the Arctic Basilisk is a lot more difficult to find than the Field Basilisk. First of all, these guys you can see a lot. <laughs> There's quite a bit of them, which is concerning me. Like, what is, what's up with this one island? They're supposed to, there's an, hold on. They aren't supposed to be so common, right? I mean, that's at least five that I just saw in this one area. I mean, it doesn't make a difference if they spawned in a group and then moved away from each other. But he is kind of cute. I mean, I can't complain about that. He is kind of cute. I like him. <laughs> but I'm trying to find my other creation. And I also need to eat desperately. <laughs> okay. Lots of eating has to take place. And I only have two potatoes left. Here. Um. I also am going to be working on soon making my plateau worm dragon tameable but I also am gonna have to make a very elaborate item to do that so it's gonna take a lot of time for people to obtain the required items for that oh there's a there's a um there's snowy snowy taiga and I used up my boat <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't have any wood on me, too, so I have to manu- I have to hand swim over there. Salmon! Salmon and cod are also necessary for taming the arctic basilisk. I am going to hopefully make some kind of snowy arctic weasel type animal for the uh, snowy tundra as well, and possibly the taming item might change a little bit from chicken to weasel, because I want the- different areas that these guys spawn in to correlate with their food source kind of like in nature like arctic foxes and the arctic will have to eat arctic prey which you might not find just in every biome i'm gonna want to make some kind of like a small animal that is supposedly the natural food source of this only tundra spawning creature uh let's see do you guys see any movement? Let me know. It'll have blue wings, beautiful, beautiful blue and white wings with some different... Oh, this better not be sneaky snow. No? Good. <laughs> um, and it'll have kind of little bits of emerald tipped wings. Very beautiful. I'm trying to find one, though. Like I said, they are harder to find than the field basilisk. They're a lot more difficult to tame. They're a lot more everything <laughs> that you don't want to have to go through, but you're going to end up wanting to anyway. Here we go. Oh, what a pretty biomes are here. Oh, what about over there? I have a good feeling about that one little patch over there. I have a good feeling about it right over there by the clouds. I don't know yet. This is the first time I have updated the mod into this world that I play in. So I do not know where these guys are ahead of time. I know what biome they spawn in, but I, if I do end up finding this, this is truly just manifestation and luck. <laughs> Coincidence. Uh, nope. Nothing here. Nobody here. But maybe I do want to find one of those dragons again. <laughs> that was cool. There's some ice on the floor here. Ah, I want to find him. I want to find my cool new thing. 
He's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love him. You guys haven't seen him yet, but he is big and puffy and fluffy and has big curly brown horns and it's going to be awesome. But I want to travel a little bit. Oh, there's another. There's a field basilisk. How pretty. I love finding. <laughs> I love finding my own creations. They're like, I can finally create species and put them in a form of reality that can be interacted with in 3D and walk around you, which is awesome. He's so cute. Hello, little one. Hello. He's so adorable. And up here... Oh, hello, Eric. Welcome to the stream. On a mountain? Yes, I am. I'm trying to show you guys the new creature that I put in the mod. It is an Arctic Basilisk. It is going to take silk touch, lots of ice blocks, and a lot of freezing of food and meat and lapis lazuli to tame. And honey. And honey. It's going to be crazy to tame him. But he is a vicious, angry creature that is going to attack um, I finally got a chance to work on the different variants of the Basilisk. And this is the second variant. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't move. Oh, no. I have to eat. No, I have to run away from them. That's what I have to do. I don't want to kill them because I don't want the raid getting to the village. Oh, this is bad news. This is really bad. Oh, gosh. The sneaky snow. Oh, please, no. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, okay, okay. Digging, digging myself out, digging myself out, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Still? Here, can I jump out of here? I do not want the raid going to my village that is very unprotected and does not have a lot of support. I need to build a wall around the village. That's what I have to do, guys. Take, t Taking notes, taking notes, taking notes. If somebody wants to please take notes for me about that, please remind me if too much time goes by and I forget to build a wall around my village because I can't let pillagers in because I cannot let my new village die. That is, that is going to be no good. The raid only happens if you kill the one with the banner. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want a beat. I don't want those even. They came twice. I understand that the raid will come if I kill them. That's why I'm not killing them. But I do not want the band of three scavengers to end up finding my village anyways because I'm not so far away from my home that it's going to be crazy. Oh, there's a turkey. Yes, I found one. Um, but yeah, on the same topic, I did. Oh, there's more turkeys. Yes. Good, good, good. I am finding them. Ah, oh, Sorry. I also wanted to find the turkeys for you guys to see. Um, but I did have worries because I did come across twice the band of three pillagers. So even those, if they get into my village, which is literally one house, the villagers might not know how to survive. It would be very sad. Um, oh, the turkeys are, oh, the turkeys are beautiful. Oh, I can't bring them home though, because I'm so far away from it. What am I looking at? Oh, that's gravel. I was like, why is there one little iceberg there? Huh. But yeah, I'm so worried about the pillagers, especially if I'm just moseying at home and they spawn, like, on my island. I can't let them kill my, my, not my pillagers, my villagers. I can't let them kill them because that would be very unfortunate for me <laughs> and them. It'll be a whole ordeal. And I would have to rethink where my village is and stuff. It, it wouldn't be fun. It would definitely be unfun. Very unfun. Ooh, I've got to get over there. There's like, there's a structure. No, I can't die. No, I can't die. No, I said I can't die. No, please don't hit me, uh, zombies. Please don't. I want to come back here. Ooh, fire charges. Fire charges. No, 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 no. I'm running away from the zombies. I'm on one heart. I can't be at one heart. No! I saw that! I saw that! I need to skip the night! <gasps> Leave the bed! Leave the bed! Leave the bed! Leave the bed! Holy- No, 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 no! <gasps> Wait, is anything else on fire? It wouldn't let me leave the bed! 
No! It wouldn't let me leave the bed. Nothing else is on fire, right? Do not touch the fire charge. Put it safely in a box. I did not think that would happen. <sighs> yeah, I caught my things on fire. I just lost nine wheat for that. That little mistake. Oh, my ginger plants. They're so cute. Um, but yeah. Cannot let that happen. Cannot let that happen. How much ginger? Three gingers. Okay. Yikes. Oh gosh, no, please, 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 no. No, that would- Oh, a creeper already blew up in that exact spot before. I'm not letting it happen again. Hey, you. No! He blew up anyway! That's stupid. I moved away. I, I even jumped so that I was a little faster. That is sad. Oh my gosh. Excuse me? What is hurting me? Is there a snake? This is disappointing. Creepers! Stop it, creepers. Ah, all right. Oh, there's another little hole to fix up. But other than that, my garden is fine. My garden lived. My garden lived. Guys, we don't have to worry. My poor garden. I'm so sorry, garden. You don't have to be scared anymore. I'm here. I'm here for you, garden. You have nothing to fear. Okay, I have lots of corn kernels. I have... Ooh, I should plant the blackberries. Blackberry seeds. Here we go. And more. Uh, th that one's ready. That one's ready. It's the only one that's ready. Eh, I have three to plant. There we go. Um, anything else I can do? All right. I think it's time that I go and look at the village. <sighs> I want to show you guys my coming town square. It is going to become one of the best places ever. It's going to be beautiful and you are going to love it. I have my townhouse all set up there and the villagers are happy and wandering and having fun. There's a bunch of cats which are somewhere, but I already started to clear this out with cobblestone. I'm gonna want a town center thing right here with a bell and a fountain and everything, so that's gonna be really fun. Um, villager beds are gonna also go up here at the time being if I'm gonna need more villagers. And I'm gonna make faction houses all- I almost hit the iron golem, I was about to die. <laughs> all around here facing this way. It's gonna be really, really awesome. And I'm excited. Okay, so what I need to do is take my crafting table and I need to make myself an iron pick. I'm gonna need a lot of iron tools <laughs> for this um, little journey because it's very important to me that I get myself this awesome village. Forgetting a little bit about the mythical creature that I'm looking for, I am going to start on my other project, which is also one of my first priorities right now. Here's some iron. I should get those. Perfect. How? How? Creeper. I didn't see him. Where's... What? There... They're everywhere. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is my this is my mining area. You, creeper. Do you want to blow up for me? Oh, oh gee. Here, I need to I need to let you guys see what's happening. There, I'll hold a torch. Oh, gee. Oh, there's a lot going on. I need to actually just dig <laughs> and stop worrying about anything. Oh, Indo, sorry, uh, I was gone for a bit. What did I miss? Oh, I don't know if you saw, but I found some of my turkeys. You can go back in the footage if you'd like. I found some of the turkeys. I found a flock of them in the taiga biome, or mega taiga. But sadly, I was talking about my worries of the pillager raiding my village. So I was planning on putting a wall up around the village, a pretty one, so that at least they couldn't get in. 
I could, like, have guards by the door and perhaps, like, iron golems. I could set those guys up out front and maybe I could be let into the village, but nobody else. <laughs> Villagers are safe from everything and maybe even foxes if they spawn, so I'm gonna be able to put chickens in there too safely. A wall is a really good idea, I think, for it, but yes. Uh, how do they really make this really small texture? How do they make something 16 by 16 look so like it's 3D sunken in ore? Like, literally, just the shades. As an artist, I'm flabbergasted by pixel art. If it's done right, I'm astonished by skills like that. Somehow I find that extremely, um, just absurd how something like this can really look like it's, if you blur your eyes, it kind of, it looks like it's sunken down. Like, I, okay, I'm literally, no one else cares, which is so sad. Or, well, maybe, maybe people care, but I feel like the only person who cares about small details like that. And I'm like, whoa, like I'll be on Twitter and I'll see somebody's like pixel art and I'll be like, whoa, I love that one detail. And like nobody else points out that detail. They'd point out like the big picture, like, wow, the dragon's so cool. And I'll be like, whoa, the way you made his claw. And everyone's going to be like side-eyeing me super hard. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of feel like that in the artist community. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else kind of like feels that way too. But like I take so much attention to the small details of things that maybe nobody really thinks about. Or maybe they do and I'm just overreacting. <laughs> but yeah, it's... It is what it is, and that's okay with me. I take notice to the little things that nobody wants to. Okay, like same with the coal. The coal not so much, because it's not like a color color, but um, the copper re the copper or, or really astonishes me how they made a 16 by 16 texture look so deep. I don't know how. It, I, I know how, but I don't understand. Like, I do understand. Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> As an artist, you, you, sh you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I understand it's the light and dark tones placed in the right spot make it look like it's deeper and taller and shinier than the other. Um, but you know what? Ugh. <laughs> how much? Here it is again. Urgh. I see exactly the lines that they make. It's gonna challenge me for my texture pack. It is really gonna challenge me for that. Oh, I used up my iron pick. How much do I have? Oh, good, like four stacks or so. Perfect. I'm out of here and I'm gonna be working on my little uh, doodad. That's gonna be really fun. Oh, I should place... Oh, I don't have silk touch. I was gonna place an emerald block in the middle of the... Um, who's he was he? What, the, the village, town square. Now I get to go work on it a little bit more. Take my shovel, bring the shovel closer. That's my home, no, the other way. <laughs> Eat my potato. Running over here, jumping over things. Sheep don't get lost, that is a big, big cave. Here we go. Hey, they're gossiping about me more. I don't like that. I don't like that. No more gossip, guys. The copper ore challenges Miss Willow to a fight. <laughs> Understandable. Like, honestly, the copper ore is going to be really difficult. Just figuring out what color I wanted my frozen chicken item to be was like a nightmare to me. Like, hey, did I want to make draw regular chicken with little icicles over it? Did I want to make a blue chicken, or did I want to make a weird chicken that's kind of blue, but then it looked moldy, and I thought that, that would turn off players to even wanting to make it? <laughs> but, um, in a cartoony sense, I just made it kind of like a blue chicken. <laughs> the struggles of being a mod creator and artist are impeccable. You are glad that <laughs> I have the patience for this. Stop, 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 I am 
being interrupted by- Stop it. I know you're curious. But stop. Oh, oh my gosh. Stop. I'm trying to do work. I'm trying to do my work so nice. Can't be interrupted thrice. Okay. There we go. Got all the dirt. Now I'm going to place all of these beautiful little blocks that are ready to start my town hall. Town square. Town center. It's going to be beautiful, and it's going to be a space of um, communion and chatting and not gossiping about Miss Willow. So here we go. Right up here, maybe I think I have enough to fill in this area. You'll never have enough cobblestone as you need. That's what I find with this game. It's quite sad. Um, here. Going to go over here. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Stone pickaxe will work for now. Stone pickaxe works. I placed a block where I did not mean to place a block. Plop. Uh, and then I can... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18. I lost count. Doesn't matter. Just filling in a hole. Iron Golem, you're gonna have to move out of the way. Thank you. You're gonna appreciate this place too. And you're gonna be a special guard for the outdoors. How does that sound? And then I gotta round this out a bit more on the edges because right now it's a little bit oblong and weird. <laughs> there we go. I finally filled in <laughs> the annoying little hole. Now I have the start of something. The start of something has begun. Um, I'm gonna add in a couple mossy cobblestones here and there. I have nine of them. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Just giving it a little bit of a gradient. It looks a little bit too. No! Skeleton! No! Kill the skeleton! Throw the skeleton! Throw the skeleton! Thank you, you guys. I am so sorry about that. That must have been so scary to you. Here we go. Right there. Perfect. Little bits of gradient works really well. See, it's already looking a lot more better <laughs> with the mossy stone. Um, ooh, I can I can actually grab a little bit more of them. A little more. Is it, is it inside? Are you kidding me? Here, let me let me take that. Let me take those. Let me take those off your hands, villagers. Let me use them for my big project. More mossy stones. Perfect. Can I please take the stone, please? Please? Anything else? Oh gosh, there's creepers. I should actually just skip the night. At this rate, I should just go over here <laughs> and mind my own business. <laughs> Ryanu, I'm s if that's how to pronounce, I, <laughs> I totally understand. Imagine having enough cobblestone. Oh my gosh. Tell me about it. That it's the worst. It's the worst. You'll mine forever and ever and ever and you'll think you'll have enough for a project, but really you've got enough just to fill in a corner. <laughs> uh, Miss Willow, aren't you concerned about the higher rust or rate of aggressive mobs spawning during night on the cobblestone? Uh, no, because that's a good question. No, because I am going to be putting a lot of light sources on the village. It's going to be a very lit up place. It's not just going to be that. This is a huge project and it's going to have a lot of torches, maybe flames, everything you can think of to light up this place so that there are no monsters inside. Um, I actually should eat something. The ginger's not going to taste at all good, but I have to eat right now. I've got to be able to sprint over here. But that is a very good concern, and I I understand where you're coming from with it. But I also have to get to the point where I can put those things in, know where they're gonna go and everything. Um, here. But thank you so much for bringing that up, because it's going that's going to heighten my alerts to be able to do that <laughs> much more than it is now. Right here. 
and right here. There we go. It's a little bit better now that I have uh, block variants. Now I just gotta smelt myself some stones, place those in there, do all the cool stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be awesome. <sighs> Town Hall is in here. They are safe if they are in here. And then I have to plan out where this little fountain is gonna go. Perhaps right here. One. Two, three. Perfect. So this is where the fountain is going to go. Not completely centered. I want people to see the town hall and everything. Um, I'm going to clear out this area. And slowly transform the place. And I get to take those mossy cobblestones too. Um, here we go. Some, I should have a different block variant for the outside here, but right in the center... Perfect. That should be good. That should be good. Hey, Iron Golem. You checking out the cool fountain? Can you scooch a little bit, please? Scooch just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That should be good. Thank you. And there we go. It's coming along, but what I am going to have to do is make different block variants. Regular stone is going to look pretty good because right now it, the cobblestone is just looking a little bit blurry because everything's cobblestone. So having different types of material in here is going to be good for the decorational purposes. Oh, hello, pumpkin. Welcome to the stream. Earlier, I was trying to share the new creature that I put into the game. I put the Arctic Basilisk. Able to be tamed, very aggressive, and... I didn't find it yet, but I did find the turkeys that I put in the game, too. So, I did find them. That is good. Um, ooh. I'll take some of these with me. I'll take some oak logs. I'll take some of those. Some spruce logs. I'll take a whole bunch of different things, just for the sake of decoration. Uh, diorite. Here, I can take some of that. I can take andesite. That should be good. Oh, I have more mossy cobblestone. That's wonderful. I can put the dirt back and take these with me. Put them where they belong. <laughs> right there. Bones. Eggs. Fish. That. I just need more room in my inventory to do things. And then smelting some of these blocks. Also very helpful. <laughs> okay. I will run back and start to put the andesite and things in there because it's going to look awesome. It's going to look epic. It's going to be great. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If I, Once I can get a really good source of cobblestone, maybe a um, generator for it, I'll be so much happier with this whole thing. Uh, but here... It's time for me to place a lot more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There we go. This is going to look so much better. The thing is, when I when everything's made of the same material, things start to become hard to look at, <laughs> become a little bit of an eyesore, so placing more of these blocks in here will definitely help. Uh, see? A little bit more of that, and then if I take my 15 andesite, that'll also be a very good thing. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. A use for the stones that nobody really wants to collect, <laughs> but they end up becoming great decorational purposes. 
hopefully none of the villagers fall down the hole and are too stupid enough to not get out. <laughs> here we go. Right here, right there, and there, and one more. There should be... There it is. Looking a lot better. Looking a lot more easy to see. Looking a lot more older and medieval here. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? It's coming along. And don't worry, it's not going to be this bare. I'm going to put things in here, like different gardens, little barrels filled with pumpkins, uh, different sort of... And I can always change it at any time, so it's it's great. Um, buckets of water are needed for the fountain. You should get back to the town. It might start getting dark soon. You know how it is. You know how it is, villager. Hmm. Looking great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy with it. That is a good thing. Oh, I have blackberries to eat. Perfect. My hunger is running short. Do, 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 do. Ah, gnat. Get out of my face. Stop. Mm. I just spilled water all over myself. Oh, congratulations, me. <laughs> now I gotta go wipe it off. <laughs> Okay, I should be set. I should be set. <laughs> I just went to drink a little sip of my water and splash. It always happens while I stream, too. That's <laughs> that's what's disappointing. I'm actually going to take some of these with me to smell closer by. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. In a bucket. In a bucket, too. A bucket, too. That's what I need. Here, any buckets? I think I might have a bucket. No? All right. One, two, three... Okay, should should be enough. Yep, one bucket should be enough for this. I'll just have to take a couple trips. The attack of the water bottle. <laughs> it's coming along very well. Thank you. Thank you. It'll be a slow project, but honestly, it's so much fun working on it. It's going to be very worth it. And I can also take from the broken garden over there the water. So I'm not going to have to go all the way down. Here we go. I have a crafting table here, too, so I'm not in worry of that bucket. Perfect. Regular stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Here's some more variants. It's gonna make this place look even better. Here, can I place that over there, Iron Golem? You're always in the way. <laughs> I apologize, sir, but you're always in the way. <laughs> Here we go filling in the hall the holes. This is going to look pretty good right there. That's going to look a whole lot better, a whole universe better than just the cobblestone. So many different more colors to see um, and everything. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go over here. Oh, first of all, these are in the way. Don't mind if I do. The detail on the cobblestone flooring is amazing. Thank you so much, Indo. Wow. I'm glad you really like it. Guys, go inside, go inside, go inside, sun setting, go inside. Oh, there's an iron golem stuck down there. So I have three of them, but one of them is obviously not doing their job. I will take water here. And I will pour water on top of here. Right that way. That should be enough, actually. I might not even need more. Just to put on the outside here. Yeah, that's not bad. It's kind of it's kind of pretty. Um, it's a little hard to see, if you ask me. Um, so, honestly, let me just go like this. Uh, jump, and- oh, 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 careful! Maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe because it's nighttime, the water's just, like, way too blue. Here. Um, that's a bit better. It's a little bit better. Yep, I just need some torches, some light source here. 
then things should start to look a little nicer. Here we go. One right here, one right here, and I can also go like that, place some torches on top, like this, like this, this, one, two, no, not there, not there, not there, not there. My torches are precious. Three, and then some more on this side. It's not that much of a light difference, but it's it makes up for a little bit of the lost stuff. Iron Golem, you're gonna wanna come back up here. Sir, I need to place blocks here. Here we go. Right there, right there, right there. And it gives a little bit of a deviation to the colors. Oh, a cat spawned! How cute! <laughs> or he's back. Other one. Here, um, right there. A furnace is also something I need. And I'm gonna put those in there and those in there and create a bunch of stairs for the fountain. You might need some glowstone. That's a good idea. I want to put that at the bottom of the um, either glowstone or sea lanterns. I want to put it at the bottom of this. Maybe even sea pickles would work too. The bottom of the fountain and then light will emit from it which will be really cool and make the water look a little less blah. <laughs> there we go. It's a little better. And I'll put some of these too. Oh no! Give me the stairs! Maybe not those. But I can do this. It's a little bit too tall, but here we go. Oh. A couple more of those and it should be good. And then, where are they? Where are they? Slabs? Alright, some slabs. Uh, I only needed three more slabs anyways, but there we go. It, it, it makes the purpose stand out. Ah, uh, here we go. Stripped wood. I could use those up, honestly. Like, or, 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 even better, even better, even better. Little benches. Oh my gosh. Here, um... I need doors. This is gonna be cute. Uh, I need trap doors. Uh, spruce planks. No, spruce planks. Alright, perfect. Some spruce signs. Oak signs. Wait, I need oak signs? Spruce trap doors. Uh, spruce door. This is gonna be cute. And then even some spruce slabs. Very, very cute. Here, um, like this. <laughs> and then three there. And then perfect amount of doors. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. And then, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, trap door, trap door. Or is it a sign that I want to do? No, it's a sign I want to do. Okay. I have oak signs. I can use the oak sign instead. Yep, that's gonna make a very cute little bench. Actually, no, not the big doors. Not the big doors. Okay, trust me, trust me. I know this is gonna, gonna look a little bit cringe at first. But if you trust me, I can use these doors for something else. The trap doors are going to come in handy. That's what I meant to do here. There we go. Little benches. <laughs> that makes it a lot better. These are going to be for like big dining hall chairs. The tall ones. That'll make a lot more sense. Perfect. Perfect. And then we can even have next to these the torches. Perfect. 
better. Nicer stuff. Um, definitely going to want some flowers here. The little benches are perfect. Thank you, Indo. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. I'm loving this place. It's coming along. It's definitely coming along. What it's missing, though, it's missing something, is the... Obviously, the plants. It needs some color. So, right here. Like that. And then two more. I'm gonna need a lot of wood for this project. <laughs> um, some plants, some flowers, some big rose bushes sound like a good idea. Here, let me go in, let me go in the forest and see if I can find any. I want really tall flowers. Oh, there's some peonies. That should be good. They don't have to be red. I just want a tall type of flower. Okay. Right here, one, two. How many? Two. And then if I collect two roses, then I can make a perfect... Oh, there's some roses. Good. I can make a perfect, like, different corners one. I'll show you what I mean by that. It's hard for me to describe stuff that's in my head. Oh, there's a snake. Oh, gosh. No. No. Stop, guys. Ah, the field snake. Okay, I'm skipping the night. It's going to look greater in the daylight anyways. Here we go. Peonies and roses on opposite corners of that little garden. Oh, I can see the fountain. How cute. I'm loving this. All right. I'm going to show you what I mean after I... Oof. There's a creeper there. After I obviously kill the creeper, which is a death hazard. Destruction hazard. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. If you guys see any more creepers, please tell me. I would, like, almost cry if my new work got blown up. Here's what I mean by the corners. Uh, roses on these corners and peonies and these corners. There we go. <laughs> so it's a little kind of, like, wheel of different colored flowers. I like it. I like it. It works. It works. It's perfect. The villagers are gonna have fun. Um, this is gonna be really good. Lots of stone. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I can also... Ooh, you know what I can do? I can put some more stones in here. It needs more variant. Just like this. Just a little bit of cobblestone I want to be using. Not all of it. I don't want the cobblestone to be the whole centerpiece of attention. I want this not to be a cobblestone town, but more like a mixed, mixed creation, took me hours kind of town. <laughs> Eventually. I bet a lot of you guys could do this in like 20 minutes. <laughs> also in survival mode with a lazy brain that doesn't really want to work for stuff. Here we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little better. I like it. Uh, different houses would also make this place pop. Um, this little center space also needs to be cleared out here of the grass. There's a hill right next to the fountain, which isn't very attractive, but it's, it's good. There's a lot more colors to look at. I can imagine like hummingbirds over here. It's a little bit more happier than scary medieval almost because of the flowers I can put more flowers here by the way right there and then one right here too adding some color to the place that uses up my trapdoors but that's okay here let me put some tulips and stuff there we go and then white tulip over here, Just grabbing some random plants. Yep, this place is definitely coming along a little bit better. <laughs> oh, the flowers have the flowers have arrived. Do you see the flowers? Do you like the flowers? They are finally here. They are here. All right. Oh, there's so many flowers down in that field too. Oh, I could get the sunflowers. 
I could have sunflowers and everything, a sunflower garden over here. It's gonna be great, but there's gonna be like a faction over there. This is really cool. Really cool. The iron golem's loving it. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? He loves it. Oh, I always think of them as ha having red eyes, but that's more of like a magenta purple. That's cute. Usually I think of them as scary, red-eyed, little bit suspicious beings. Oh my god, he's sitting on the bench. No, 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 don't follow me. Oh, he's thanking me. You're welcome. You are welcome, sir. I am making your village way better than all the other villages, and you guys have to admit it. You know you love this. This is great. This is awesome. He's checking out the fountain. They're talking by the fountain. This is beautiful. They're having a blast. There we go. Oh, everything is so good. I love this. I love this. It's beautiful. And now I can maybe even make my intros standing here because it's kind of pretty now. <laughs> oh, it looks like a cool server. Oh, I need a server. Ooh, I can finally afford a server. What, what do you guys think about a Ferrandale mod server? <gasps> oh, I'm getting so many ideas. <laughs> Miss Willow, have you seen the golem give a flower yet? Yeah, I have it. Um, not in this world, but I have seen it elsewhere. Villager wants to have the outro with me. He's sitting on the bench with me. Here you go. Let's, oh, there you I moved out of the way for you. Come back, buddy. They're, the villagers are starting to like me now. Did you see that? They're talking to me and liking me and instead of gossiping and walking away when I enter the room. This is great. I'm now on the in crowd. They, they love me now because I built them a fountain and gardens and benches. They're so sweet. I'm liking the villagers. And look, there's a cute little brown tabby cat in the background that just spawned. Everything is flourishing. It's great. And I'm going to be pondering. Don't get too excited because, you know, money is money. But think about a... Minecraft server with the Farrandale mod uh. that other people can join, but it would have kind of specific rules. Um, oh, he wants to say the outro with me. Okay, uh. villager and I. Oh, okay, but I take that's that's improvement. Uh. They're starting to like me. They're less weirded out by me. But anyways, guys, don't forget to leave a uh. like on the video to help to show me that you guys support my project. It helps a ton. And I will see you guys next time. Keep an eye out for some new videos. Um, and hopefully soon I'll find the Arctic Basilisk to show you all. Have an amazing day and uh, stay happy, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone!